welcome to this week's video. I am joined by Queen Bee. It is chilling. This is, sad. I mean, this is her room after all. We are in the guest bedroom and I'm going to throw it back really quickly to I think it was 20, early 2020 or late 2019 when I put a wood panelling in this room. So this was just bare and I think in that video I was saying how I would love to do something whether it was with wallpaper on the top but I just left it with white on top because I couldn't you know decide, sorry I was looking to see if Blonde was still with me, I couldn't really decide what I wanted to do. So wallpaper can be expensive and it's obviously a little bit harder kind of to remove and put up. Um, I do love wallpaper though. So I don't know, I think I was just scrolling and I was like, oh my God, patterned paint rollers. So that is what I did in this week's video. I went for a patterned look on the top. It cost me the price of the roller itself and some matte chalky paint. I think it was 20 quid for that. 20 odd quid for the paint. So that's what it cost me and about four hours of my time. So not too bad. So I'm gonna get straight into the video and we'll have the chats after. And yeah, hope you enjoy it. So welcome to the guest bedroom, which has a guest by the name of <laughs> Queen Bee. It's raining today, so I think she's having a cozy day. Hello, my friend. Okay, let's, oh, I'm sorry. Let's not disturb. Now what I want to do is, I want to add something to the walls and I'm going to do a patterned paint roller instead of like wallpaper, the patterned paint roller, it's cheaper and if I don't like it, I suppose I can kind of just paint over it. So there's a bit of clutter in this room because I did have um, people staying with me and there's like Christmas paper. I also have some dirt on this rug. Thanks my brother, thank you. <laughs> so I'm gonna see if I can get, I'm gonna have to use some cleaner to get this out. Um, so I want to just zhuzh it up and like declutter a little bit. There's a kid's art easel there for my niece and nephew. So the white walls, I wanna see if I can, on a budget, add some interest. So I just wanna take down some of this stuff take all the kind of cluttered bits out. Love this table, gonna keep this here I think um, because it is handy for like people to use but it's just not practical right now, it's just it's there for decoration. Um, I want to like maybe a little stool underneath, I don't know. Um, so it can be actually functional, maybe as a little makeup table. But I still love the green wooden beadboard paneling that's at the bottom. I just want to have fun, freshen the sofa. I feel like there's like stale energy or something in here. Um, I'm also going to, if Blondie allows me, I'm going to take off the duvet and there's a mattress topper and I'm going to send them off to be cleaned and then it means I've like fresh bedding um, for when people want to stay over. So it will be fresh as a daisy. This is the pattern paint roller that I got. So you need to have, I'm gonna put that there. It comes like you have to order a foam and a weird handle thing. I've never done this. I watched a YouTube tutorial on how to use the pattern paint roller, but I need to practice it. I think on some paper before I go straight onto the wall. The reviews were saying that people said like, it took a little while to get used to it, but once you did, like you were flying. So hopefully that's the case for me. And this is the pattern. So it's like a wildflower design and it's just has like a nib here you decide and it slots into this handle and the foam roller puts the paint onto it but yeah I got this off Etsy so I'll pop a link in the description so I hope the pattern is nice I kind of just went by the pictures but if not Sure, look, we'll paint over it. Also, <laughs> my apron is coming on. Sometimes people ask me, hey girl, what are you listening to? If it's not 
a bit of hardcore dance and an 80s disco tune. I'm going to see this movie tomorrow with my friends and I was like, I think I'm going to listen to the book. And I'm not a big one for reading books unless they're like guarding craft, things like that. Um, novels and stuff, I tend to listen to them. So I'm listening to Where the Crawdads Sing and I'm going to see the movie tomorrow. So that is why my apron is on because I have no pockets in my dress and I'm going to just start taking all of the stuff out of the room. So I just want to share some mistakes that I know has happened. So you can wipe this off no problem before it dries. I'm going to do that really quickly and I'll just wipe it off. I have some water and bleach here. Um, it does say to clean the roller, this guy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take this off. It pops off really easily and I'm going to wash it and then start again because I think that's why I have gotten a mark like this one up here. Now, because this room is a small room, I have to <laughs> like maneuver the bed and stuff. Um, but I do love how this is looking. So I have done this wall and I have done this wall. And I, I love how it looks like wallpaper. So I left the wall behind me until I could get a hang of using the roller because this is like the focal wall that you see when you come in. I love how it's looking. I just think it's so, it's so pretty. It just adds like a bit of detail. And I think this wall over here is going to be harder because I need to somehow get this bed over here. <laughs> it's always the way when you're doing jobs in small rooms. Um, another tip is it said not to use a, a rolling tray, a paint tray, and to roll the foam 
roll it out on like a piece of wood so this is mdf that i just have with my scrap wood and it's absolutely perfect the only thing that's kind of annoying is i have to take this off so you can get about four full lengths before the paint starts to fade so i have to take this off and then roll the roller and stick this back on so a little bit of work but easier than wallpapering So that's how it's looking out. Also, I forgot to say, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. You can check out my other videos. If you like what you see, welcome to the community. Hit the sub button. So I still have um, a few little things I want to do in this guest bedroom. The wardrobe that is currently behind this camera is full of craft supplies and really, really old dresses that probably fit me many, many moons ago, but I like the fabric <laughs> and I want to reuse the fabric for something. So I need to gut out that wardrobe I still need to clean the rug that's in here and I want to send off the bedding then to be cleaned. Kind of raging, it was a really hot day last week. It was like 29 degrees or something and I was like that would have been a great day to try and clean the duvet. But I actually don't think my, my dryer, I don't have a dryer, sorry, my washing machine. I don't think the drum is big enough to wash a duvet. Um, so I just send them off to be cleaned. So then my guest bedroom will be more inviting for guests. Actually, I did sleep in this bed last night because I was minding my niece and nephew for a sleepover and they sleep upstairs in my bed and it's just too crowded. So I was like, do you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna sleep down here. Um, I do be a bit, like they're still quite young so I do be nervous kind of leaving them in the bedroom by themselves but they're grand. So yeah, I actually did sleep in here and it was lovely. Um, I like the colors, it's calm. The reason why I've gone with this color palette as well is because if you watch my Sunday Garden videos, hey Sunday Garden video fan, um, there that front flower border is right as you look out, so it feels a bit like naturey. So that's why I went for the roller that kind of had the wild flowers because it just picks up on what's outside of the window. So Queen Bee approves as well. <laughs> Do you like your new pattern? This is where uh, Blondie sleeps during the day. And then at night time she sleeps upstairs with me. There is a couple of extra little bits that I put in that wasn't in the room before, so I'll link to them in the description. If I don't have a link, it's old. Um, like my little hat, I got that in France when I was with Karen. That bag is really old. That's a really old camera that I used years ago. So little things, if I have a link for something that's still available, I'll pop it in the description. Also the bed is Ikea. I think in 2020, I had an old divan 
like bed and I chopped that up and turned it into a bar. We'll pop a card to that video. And I got the Ikea, I don't know what the name of it is, but the, a common question I keep getting asked is, is it squeaky? And no, but these beds can be squeaky. And um, there's, if you watched the video where I like put it together, I copied this other guy's video who gave a really detailed tutorial on how to put this bed together. And there's something to do with a screw at the bottom corner. If you don't get that in really tight, you will get a squeaky iron bed. But there is no squeak in the bed. And now another thing you could do if you're, it takes a little bit to get the roller, like you do have to have a bit of practice. Practice one corner I did upside down over there and I left it because perfection don't exist. Um, you could also use a stencil, and yeah, you could use stencil, you could use the pattern roller. You can also use the pattern roller with chalk paint on fabric, or if you have fabric paint. Um, so you could use it on cushions and stuff like that. Um, you could also use it on wrapping paper. So if you do buy it, you could definitely use it for more things. So just throwing that out there. So that's me for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Cheeky thumbs up if you did. And I'll see you in the next one. And it's a goodbye from Blondie, who, I apologize, I apologize. I think she was licking her bum. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> we, on that note, we'll end it. <laughs>